Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well, wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now, uh, you know what? As you can see by the title, this is going to be a video about JT. And I tell you, to be a famous person, it's honestly, it's not as it's all cracked up to be. It, it, it's just, I feel like it could be more of a hassle because you can't even fuck up you can't even go through shit in peace without it being on like international world news that you were drinking while intoxicated and um, all the drugs that were in the system. Also a picture of you being in handcuffs and your mug shot. That's really effing shitty. I don't know if I'd want to be famous on that level. You know, the money would be great and fine, but that notoriety in that manner, you can't fuck up without being on this national stage like he is. And apparently a lot of people have been waiting for this day for Justin. Justin Timberlake, they have been praying on his downfall. And I know he has offended, you know, two of our biggest icons, you know, entertainers. Britney Spears and Janet Jackson. So a lot of people have beef with him and I get it. I'm trying not to like kick him while he's down because this is pretty effing bad. Um, seeing him with this mugshot here, he looks like in the eyes, you can tell like there's something going on. I see turmoil. I see so much emotion and or drugs. I'm not sure. Maybe he's coming down off of something. I don't know. In the eyes, you can see something going on. Um, and it's just terrible. It's just terrible. And then I always feel like when these things happen with these guys, these men, men, and um, they're married, I immediately think about the wife. I'm like, what are they thinking in this moment? That their husband has done the stupidest effing shit drinking while driving now has a mugshot and a picture of him being like Jessica Biel what is going on I want to know what's in her mind and I saw that she is on a movie set or whatever so you're interrupting her work with your bullshit and foolishness being a grown-ass man getting caught drinking and driving I hope she laid into his ass and you know we don't know if they have been having troubles. I don't want to put that on them. We don't really know about their relationship much. Jessica Bill is very, you know, private like that. They both are. Um, but I hope that their marriage is doing well. But is that a deal breaker? Like, I, I don't know. I'm not married. Like, I know that you're married for better or for worse. That would be a worse situation. So you don't just up and get divorced because of DUI. But if there was already pending things happening... And then that happens, and it's just like the last straw. It's just because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Now she got to look at her girls and shit like, yeah, that's my fucking man with his mugshot. That's him getting for drinking and driving. One of the worst things that you could do, be caught doing. And I don't understand what it is with these high profile people. What we just saw Karen Huger got into a situation with drinking and driving. They're high profile. Why don't y'all have the money to get an Uber or a private car service or anything? Like you're high profile. Why even try to put yourself in a situation like that? I, I, I just, it blows my mind. So now Justin, we all know what you were doing out in Sag Harbor. They've let us know what was in your system. Apparently, he told police that he had one martini and uh, he refused the breathalyzer like three times. But it's all over the news now that Justin Timberlake was drinking and driving. He's been officially charged with one count of driving while intoxicated, running a stop sign and failure to stay in his lane. He's expected to go to court in July 26. So now you got a court date. Oh, if I was Jessica Bill, I would be so fucking through. I always think about the wife because I'm like, what would I do in that situation? I'd be ready to fucking kick his ass. Like, are you kidding me? Because you're not only putting yourself in danger, you're putting everybody else around you in danger. And those people are somebody's loved ones. And he's lucky that he didn't get injured and nobody else fucking got injured. But it is so inconsiderate. It's just like, so he was, okay, what does this say with TMZ? 
uh, 7.15 a.m., Justin Timberlake was arraigned and released without bail. He has been charged with one account of DUI and cited for running a stop sign, failure to keep in his lane. The next court date, da da da, da he's being repped by counsel Ed Burke. So apparently the cops observed Justin being glassy-eyed, and they said he smelled of alcohol. He failed the field sobriety test when asked to do one, to do a one-legged stand and walk and turn. Oh, Lord. I hate those tests because sometimes people really are just are bad at balance. But then I guess he refused the breathalyzer three times, um, which I guess is your right to do. Um, here it goes. There's more. Let me see. Sources connected to law enforcement tell TMZ Justin Timberlake was at the American Hotel partying and almost immediately after he left and began driving. So maybe they knew he was at this party, had eyes on him already. So as soon as they got in his car, as soon as he got in his car, they got him. That's like, we already know you was in there drinking and partying and doing it up. So he began driving. He blew a stop sign, not thinking anybody was paying attention. Cops saw that and started following him. And then he started swerving, and the cops pulled him over. Oh, Lord, Justin. We're also told several of Justin's friends came to the scene and tried to convince cops to cut him a break, but they refused. Why should he be cut a break when nobody else would be cut a break just because he's Justin Timberlake? No. Justin was handcuffed and arrested, and we're told it's all on body cam. Oh, Lord. And eventually that's going to be released. So, like, you, we got a picture of your mugshot, Justin. We've got a picture of you in handcuffs. We know what drugs were in your system. And now we're, you know, potentially, typically it does happen. You're going to have your whole body cam footage of this going down, released. And then that's just further. I mean, it's a lesson learned. I mean, look at him. He looks ticked. Bet he won't do it again. He looks ticked. Yeah, he has on handcuffs. Look at him. And Justin has been having a hard go of it. He has lately because everything with Britney going on and, you know, her kind of telling how he did her in their relationship. Obviously, Janet Jackson, the situation, he's not as relevant as he once was. I think he was trying to put out some album. I'm not sure if that did well. He was trying to do something solo. I guess that didn't work out. So then he had to go back and start doing stuff with his group, which I'm sure he hated because when you go solo and then have to like revert back to like start performing with your group, I'm sure that's a blow to the ego. So, I mean, it's just not a good place to be in for him. <sighs> It's like everywhere. Look at this. They said Britney in June 2024. And she does look so much better. Look at this, Britney. She looks good. Her her puppy. Look at the guy taking a picture. But she looks good. It looks like she got her teeth fixed. But then look at him. Ugh. It's terrible. It's so bad. I wanted to... Okay, so here it is. Justin allegedly, okay, allegedly had trade... And, well, this is poo crave. This is not even real. So hold on. This may not even be real. You can see it if you want to read it. I'm not going to say it because that's like not even any type of verified source. Um, but more pictures of him leaving Sag Harbor Police Department. I thought this said pop crave. My bad. Oh, Justin. I hope to escalate into his ass. Mm, 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 mm. So now you got a court date. 